I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Right YouTube, I'm going to show you the sweet spot if there's no wind. Right, and these are the areas you would aim if there is wind. Right, I'm going to I've slowed down the footage so you can see exactly where I'm standing and exactly where I'm going to aim to try and get a condor on uh, Alpina Forest uh, Hole 12. Right, so the wind is... Uh, going from the left to right and it's about 4.8 meters. There's <laughs> somebody on the green they're blocking. They're idle on the green because I'm sick of going for a condor but they're blocking my footage. <laughs> right, um So that's, this is the first condor I've hit and that was where Four point meters from the left to right one. This is on the regular T's normal cup and it's standard wind, so it's an official condo. If it's tornado or mega cups, um, it's no, it doesn't, have, it's unofficial. You need three condos to get the platinum trophy, which is a nightmare. But look, I get a condo and I'm only 56 in the ranking because these Japanese players are superb and they get like condors within the first hour of the new day starting on the online courses. Crazy. They're just, they're so good at the game. Wait, I'm messing about. we delighted I got a condor. Wait, I'll show you my second condor. I'm always standing at the back left because this isn't the mirrored uh, maps so it's just normal maps. It's almost a sweet spot, so I'm going to have to aim a bit to the left, and it's 2.4 metres, and see because there's a wind blowing behind us, I'm going to have to put 98% power on. So always put super top spin on the ball as well when you're hitting it. So uh, I'm on PS4, so to put super top spin on, you need to press down on the D-pad when you're setting your shot power, and then when the, the gauge is coming back down to hit the actual precision, you need to press it up and then I press the circle button to reduce the power by 2% instead of 100% it's 98% power that way if it hits the pin like I've hit the pin there then you get the it just goes straight up the pin and out of the hole rising shot right, so that's the second condor I hit And that I'm 40th in the ranking this time. TV's trying to turn it sell off. Right, so this is the third condor. Back left again, but this time I've got a 1.1 meter wind blowing southwest. So you only need to just move slightly left to the, the sweet spot. But look, I know watching this video you think, well that looks dead easy, I'll aim at their places, but they changed the hole placement, to the, you can see the actual the hole, see where the flag is, they change that every single day on the online courses, plus they also change where the tees are, so although this is regular tees and the uh, standard wind, you really, the ideal setting you want is regular tees, normal cups and you want a weak wind. Because to get the condor on the long tees or the championship tees you need a driver that can drive the see like your, your one word driver. You need it to drive something like 380 yards before you can get anywhere near the hole. Plus there's trees in the way on the long tees and there's also trees in the way on the championship tees. So I wouldn't, personally I wouldn't bother on those unless you're really really good at the game, which you don't need my advice anyway if you are. Right, I'm also going to show you, although I've showed you the condors, I'm going to show you a few near misses to show you roughly 
other places you can aim when the wind is blowing through certain directions like southwest, northwest, westerly, easterly. So that I'll show you I don't get the actual contours in these, but you can see that I nearly get a contour and that lands on the green right near the hole. So a 3.6 meter wind and it's almost in the sweet spot but you just need to move it slightly to the right because it's blown to the right. To the left sorry, it's blown to the left. And if the wind is blowing behind you, you always need to take some of that power off, like nine eight percent power, otherwise you're gonna it's gonna go too far and it's gonna hit that wee hut, which is a nightmare. Honestly, you're watching this video and think, no, he's quite good, but see the amount of times and the hours I had to put in it to get some of this footage because you can play for the hours and know roughly where to end with the wind and you still don't have any luck. So the main thing I'll say is don't get disheartened. Just keep trying, you'll get it eventually. But you really want to play it on regular tees, uh, normal cups or teeny cups, preferably normal though. Um, but teeny cups are still official and you also want to play on weak or standard wind, but preferably the weak wind. But I've got three, my three condors during the standard wind, so you could as well. Because it's mostly luck, even if you know where you're aiming right, it's mostly luck to actually get the condom. And you'll just be able to turn the game off and I can't be bothered playing anymore but and then you'll hit a condom and you'll go no way. Because that's what happened to me. I was about to turn it off in anger and I thought and then I hit a condom I was like yes, was that? So like I said try not to get disheartened if you if you get bored of playing it uh, Go away for a couple of hours and then come back. Persistence is the key. So I'm, I'm showing you different, I know it's like a 15 minute video but I'm trying to give people tips on roughly where they aim because the videos I see online it's like they just show you how they hit their condor but they don't give you any tips on roughly where they aim, they just show you or if it's like 2.4 meters, that's where they hit theirs. But that doesn't really help you out much. There was a guy on YouTube, I can't mind his name, something like Meteor Lenore or something. He put a, a, an image on Imgur, and that guy has uh, helped a lot of people because he took a picture, he put wee lines on it, like wee blue lines, showing you roughly where to aim, uh, depending on where the wind is blowing from. It's super, but really, I mean, it's not perfect with his uh, told you aim, but it's a, a really good guideline to roughly where to aim. Like, say, the wind is two meters for the right, then he he shows you roughly where to aim. But you need to tweak it because, see, his hole placement uh, might be perfect, but the hole that you're playing is different because it changes every day. So, you'll need to bear that in mind, and just tweak it yourself. Hopefully this gives you an idea of roughly where to aim. So if this helps one person this video then it'll be well worthwhile. Me. And, and, and you know when it's roughly going to go in, right? Because it hits the water and it just bounces out of that wee hut. And sometimes your character says something like, um, my character sometimes says the word, go on, like, go on, as if it's going to go in the hole. But it doesn't always say that when you're uh, hitting a condor. I remember somebody saying to me, uh, if I don't hear the words go on or not bad, then I just cancel my shot mid flight and press instant replay and back out. But it's some of my condors, <laughs> not in this video, I've hit other condors that I've not recorded in this video, but in that, uh, I hit a condor and the guy said nothing and it still went right in the hole. So make sure you watch the shot fully before you press replay and cancel the shot out. And see, I've, I've actually hit, hit shots, right, where 
I hit the perfect shot, it hits the pin, but I've not put super top spin on the golf ball. And you know you put super top spin on when there's a weak kind of blue line. I don't know if you can see it. See when you see the golf ball, right? See if you look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see like a, when I hit the ball, you'll see like a wee blue dot right at the top end of the ball. And that means you've put the super top spin on perfectly. The one other thing I would say is, you can't do this without um, custom clubs. And you need custom clubs at least level 19. I think mine's uh, level 21 in this video, and that's why I can hit it 364 yards. But um, you also need a triple precision ball. Now, the only place, I think you can win them in tournaments, but they're really, really rare. And I think you can. Uh, I think you can find them, oh no you can't find them on the map, uh, I think the only other place you can get them is fishing, uh, really rare fish, and I think yeah, but I farmed all my triple precision balls because I've got nine, uh, I've got them on, I think it's Imperial Gardens, uh, the back nine, so is it Imperial Gardens Inn, and it's near what hole is it? It's near hole 17. There's a fishing spot and there's two particular rare fish. But they only, they only drop a trip, uh, triple, they only appear, sorry. They only appear if you've uh, unlocked uh, Deluxe Bait. And the Deluxe Bait, but I'll do that in another video. The Deluxe Bait uh, makes two rare fish appear, but they're still rare to appear. Um, what is the fish called? One's called a giant isopod, and the other one is called a. The name eludes me. Um, a giant oarfish or something like that, or an oarfish. It's like a level 10 rarity fish. And these two fish, they don't always drop a triple position ball, sometimes they drop like money or gems. But if they do drop a triple position ball, that makes this easier to get a condor as well. I'll put that in the, I'll put these details in the bit below, see the information bit below the video, if you're looking for it. So basically, I'm just showing all these extra shots that I took and I've slowed down the footage where I've aimed. Just to give you an idea, roughly if the wind's blowing in different directions, roughly where I aimed and it nearly got a condor, just to give you a bit better idea of where to aim. I'm not going to talk the whole length of the video, but what I will say is hopefully this helps at least one person because I know how tedious this uh, achievement is. So thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me and I'll, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible, if I know the answer that is. Uh, right, well thanks again for watching, if you enjoyed uh, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you again soon. See you later. Good luck. You're probably going to need it unless you get it flicky. Lucky bounce. Quite the feat. Four. <laughs> Lucky bounce. Lucky bounce.